my name is Nick White and I'm the owner of Off Leash Canine Training. Today in this video blog what we're going to be discussing is one of the five key components that make up confidence building in dogs. We have noise desensitization, object desensitization, socialization, obedience, and what we call body management and positioning. Today we're going to be discussing noise desensitization, the importance of it, and how to do it. What is noise desensitization and why is it important? Noise desensitization is very simple. That gets your dog over the fear of loud noises such as fireworks, cars backfiring, door slamming, them dropping something next to them. Anytime you see a dog hear a loud bang and the dog jumps up and takes off, that's because the dog doesn't have noise desensitization incorporated into his training program. Anyone who's ever worked with us at Off Leash Canine Training, or if you've watched any of our 500 videos, you know we're really big into confidence building with dogs. Some of the things that you'll see at our training facility or in our videos that has direct correlation with confidence building is where the dogs are placed on really small objects, that's body management. Where we're running around, hitting stuff, throwing stuff, that's object and noise desensitization. And then obviously we're doing obedience and interaction with people, which is socialization. So we're really big on focusing on those five core concepts that we incorporate into all of our training routines. Noise desensitization is something that you can start doing with your dog as early as a puppy, eight weeks as soon as you get them. What we do with our puppies when they're eight weeks old is we play tug with them. We always let them win and play and tug, and as they're playing tug, we're banging on stuff, we're hitting spoons together. What that's doing without the dog realizing it is we're desensitizing them to the sound of noise while they're engaged in a game. If you watch some of our videos, you'll see us have the dog sit, down, place, we'll run around, bang on stuff, get really crazy, jump up and down, rattle cans, open and slam the door. All that we're doing in that is noise desensitization to help build the dog's confidence. A lot of owners unknowingly reinforce the behavior of fear to their dog at a very young age. For example, you have a new 3-4 month old lab. He hears his first lightning storm, he hears a loud noise, he comes running to you and what happens? You scoop him up, you comfort him, you pet him, it's okay baby, it's just a little storm. As I always say at our facility, comfort is just another word for praise. So essentially what you're doing is you're praising your dog for being fearful of that loud noise. Imagine this, what's the difference between comfort and praise? When you're comforting your dog because he's afraid, oh, it's okay, it's okay, you're giving him the pet, the cute puppy language. What do you do when you praise your dog? Good boy, good boy. Same exact thing. So essentially you're praising your dog for the behavior of fear, which is really bad for a lot of reasons. Imagine if every time your kid was scared, you gave them ice cream. That's pretty much what you're doing to the dog, is you're reinforcing to them that the behavior of fear equals praise and reward. Instead of comforting your dog when he's afraid, what you need to do is not pay any attention to him. Do not show that his fearful behavior gets positive attention. So what we suggest is instead of praising him, don't pay attention to him, don't look at him, act like it's no big deal. If you stick to that, generally the dogs quickly figure out it's not a big deal as well. Another thing you can do and I highly recommend is what we call flooding. Flooding is very simple. It's find something the dog's afraid of, and flood them with that. If the dog's afraid of the vacuum, every single day I'm gonna put a leash on him and vacuum in the house. If the dog's afraid of a loud bang, I'll put him in a sit or a place or a down and replicate that loud bang. If he breaks the sit or down or place out of fear, which generally they will, I'll immediately put him back in and replicate that noise again. We'll repeat that process until the dog no longer reacts negatively. And as soon as he gives a good reaction, I'll praise and then release from that position. That's really why obedience is important to help incorporate confidence building into it. It's really hard to do loud noises and stuff with a dog that doesn't listen or come back. So that's why we really stress obedience as a part of confidence building. I tell our clients all the time, your dog is not allowed to be afraid. I'm going to say that again. Do not let your dog be afraid. What do I mean by that? 
If you find something that your dog's afraid of, then you should flood them with that over and over, making it a positive experience when you flood them until they no longer care or they no longer pay attention to that object or noise that they are afraid of. As I say on a daily basis, I've never known of a person getting over a fear of heights without going to a high place. Think about that. I'm going to say it again. I've never known of a person getting over a fear of heights without going to a high place. A dog is the same exact way. I've never seen a dog get over his fear of a vacuum without ever being around a vacuum. I've never seen a dog get over his fear of getting on a new object without getting on a new object. So the only way to get them over the, those fears is by making them do them repeatedly and making it a positive experience once they do filled with a lot of praise. When you begin to do that, you'll be amazed how awesome your dog's confidence becomes with something they used to be afraid of and fear and now something they love to do because they've reassociated that with a lot of praise. I'm going to show you a video here of a lab and a German Shepherd where we're incorporating noise desensitization, object desensitization, and obedience all in one 20 second clip. You're going to see us running around, banging on stuff, throwing stuff, jumping up and down, opening and shutting the doors, all that's done for is in order to incorporate confidence building into the dog, which gives you a highly confident and highly stable dog. Check it out. Louie, place! Now you can see why confidence building is important. Even if a dog has solid obedience, but you didn't do any object or noise desensitization, 90% of dogs would have taken off running off that platform. But because we make confidence building a huge part of our training regimen, as you see, the dogs completely ignored all of the noises, all the distractions, and all the objects. That's because we've produced a confident, stable, and obedient dog. If you are working with a trainer who has not incorporated confidence building into your training, you should probably find a new trainer. Or you should definitely incorporate it yourself. Confidence building, as I say, is one of the most underrated, least talked about things in dog training, which is crazy because to me it's the most important thing in dog training. I would rather have a dog who knew zero commands but was amazingly confident then have a dog who knows 50 commands, but he's afraid of noises, he's afraid of objects, he's skittish with people. Um, confidence means everything. Again, look at the best dogs in the world. French Ring, Mondio Ring, Schutzen, Police, Military. What do they all have in common? They're some of the most confident dogs in the world. Confidence breeds success with people and with dogs. So make it your goal to start incorporating noise desensitization into your training habits every single day. If you do this, you'll be amazed at how much your dog's confidence and obedience and stability will all increase in a very short amount of time. Thank you for watching part one of five of our confidence building video blog. If you have any questions, feel free to email us or go to our website, which is at the link below.